Hey guys, Rochelle here with Amethyst Ascension, and today is day 30. Oh my gosh! Day 30 of the October uh, YouTube <laughs> Pagan Block Challenge. I knew I'd get it. <laughs> These last videos, I have not been looking either, <laughs> so I'm pretty proud of myself. See, repetition it only took me how many times in order to get it, right? Um, but the word for day 30 is magic. So, and like I've said before, this challenge was started by Brittany over at Palm Tree Bewitchery. And I'm going to put a link um, down below in the description for her channel and for her uh, Facebook page, as well as all of the day's challenge words all the way down. And magic. Gosh, what is there to say about magic? My idea of what magic is. It's not like Harry Potter. It's not like and Guardian Leviosa. It's not like that, right? Or Expecto Patronum. I love Harry Potter if you haven't gathered. But um, it's not like that. I personally, this is, these are my beliefs, believe that um, reality is something that we manifested as a mass consciousness, okay? So our universe was brought into, and you know, even for those Christians, and I am a Christian, in the Bible it says, in the beginning was God, and God was the Word, and the Word was God. So... I believe, you know, or also in the beginning it was dark and then there was light and, you know, all that good stuff. But I believe that vibration, a spoken word, that's why I say be careful what you say because you can curse somebody or you can bless somebody with your words because I believe our existence our current manifestation and reality is a vibration that we all came together as a mass consciousness or the godhead the source and created the universe or everything okay everything came into existence through that that's my belief so magic is a natural extension of that because it's just like the law of attraction. Whatever you put out in your thought, because it was a thought form first. We were a thought form first. Remember, this is all my perception. This is all how I believe. So when I'm talking, I'm just talking as in the way that I believe, okay? So we were a thought form, and then we manifested, or we spoke it. And it became a vibration like music and sound. What The words that are coming out of my mouth are creating vibration. So that's why spells work. And speaking them out loud works. So the law of attraction also, I see that as just another way of understanding or manipulating magic or reality because it's through your um, the words that you speak or like chants or like when you're doing crystal healing or I mean when you're doing um, well crystals also because crystals carry a vibration um, everything carries a vibration I mean everything so and there's a way of showing that, too. I've seen where people will put water on, like, drums and set those on top of speakers and then start playing different types of music. And you can literally see the um, geometric shapes that it creates from the vibration of that music. So even certain music that you listen to can either lower your vibration or raise your vibration because you are surrounding yourself by certain vibrations. So 
when we do um, sage or smudging or different things or surround ourselves by a crystal. All those things carry a vibration. Incense, different herbs and different um, spices and flowers carry different vibrations. So love, roses are one of the highest vibrations that you can get. And so is love. I mean, that to me, that's what magic is. I mean, there's just so much more to say on it, but I'm going to leave it at that. That's what magic is. It's love and it's reality and it's manifestation and it's vibration. It's the law of attraction. Well, it's not the law of attraction. Law of attraction just, in my opinion, is just a like driving force in order to help you get what you want from your manifestation powers and from your reality. Because you are like willing it. So I guess it's a form of magic. So, or... It can be a tool in magic. But yeah, that was my day 30 of the October YouTube Pagan Blog Challenge. And I am sending you love and light. Thank you.